Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for you today. I'm using the Little Rainbow Moon Handmade Watercolours and Creative Kits and this one is the Mystic Mountain Kit. Um, the watercolour paints that come in it match perfectly with the other goodies which you'll see a bit later on. I do apologise for the quality of the video, it does improve um, before it gets to about a minute. Unfortunately my camera started to play up, I don't know if I need a new one unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, what I'm doing here is laying down a really loose um, version of some mountains or hills um, and just having a play around with them really. Um, I just add one colour, I add the lilac-y colour, then a bit of the pink and then I add it in darker and darker and then highlight it with a little bit of white. I'm really sorry but it went completely wrong at that point <laughs> so unfortunately it um, I've got no footage for that but I thought I'd carry on with the video anyway because you can see the rest of the process of how I actually make the rest of the layout so hence why I've left it in left the video and not and I've still uploaded it anyway just so you can see the rest of it but I will try and do another video maybe with a, a sort of naturey background again so you can see my process but I'm no expert anyway so <laughs> never mind so this time around I am altering some of my scrappers uh, box in blank canvas flowers and I'm just adding these watercolours to them. The water helps the paint soak into the flowers and then when they're done they have a lovely sheeny finish which is from the actual paints which have got a shimmer to them anyway. So there's a little bit of a close-up of the flowers ready to go later on. So I'll leave them to one side for now. Oh, no, I don't. I'm having a play with them already. Um, I think I'm, I'm just working out if I've got enough flowers painted, which I'm happy with there. And I've got quite a few photos that I could choose from. I have this one of uh, my little boy and he's halfway up a mountain there. So I decided to trim this one out and use this one and it just so happened that the angle of the mountain also worked well with one of the um, background painty bits. It kind of went along the line of it which worked out well. I'm just distressing the edges of that and choosing where I want to put it and I think I do add a little more paint to one side just to make that blend better with the background as I make the line continue and I'm just rearranging the flowers again to decide how I want them to be placed and now I'm bringing in all the collage elements that came in the kit there's lots and lots of goodies they're all things that match in with the uh, watercolours so there's like tissue papers hand painted um, uh, papers as well there's always lots of lovely things in these kits and of course I will link them, uh, link them below. Just using a stapler just to layer up some of that tissue. I think this is printed vellum, I believe. It was like shaped like you, you could use it as a dashboard in a planner because Little Rainbow Moon do also do um, planner stickers as well. Um, so I wanted to get a nice white teared edge on that so I just tore some pieces off the edge of that. I'm now using this handmade paper um, and adding that behind as well. If you want uh, a little look at this kit in more detail I will link the haul video below and if, they're, if it's still available in the shop I will link that too so you can go and check that out. Now I'm moving on to these uh, journaling stickers and I liked this one but I felt like it needed to be backed on something so I've just backed it onto some of that paper there, that handmade paper and then I've laid a little bit of the tissue and a little bit of the vellum behind that as well just to add a little extra touch of texture behind it. I've also got this um, washi which also comes in the kit and I laid those two pieces behind it using the washi and now to fix it all together I'm going to add some foam on the back of it all so that the photo and the quote both pop up off the page a little more. 
So as you can see, I'm just now, I'm happy with the layers of gluing it all together. And you have to be quite careful with tissue with the glue gun, not glue gun, uh, tape runner, it does tear quite easily. So I'm just um, adding a few layers of this foam in between. It's just cheap foam from Hobbycraft. And adding each layer on. I also, once I have all these layered together, um, I stick it down so that where I'd already painted a little bit of a mountain going down, I then angled it so that it lines up with uh, like a painted line. So it sort of continues into the photo. And then I'm just deciding where I want to put this little quote as well. And just basically doing a dry run of everything so that I'm happy with it all before I glue the whole lot down. So I've changed what side I'm putting the flowers on now so that it all runs down in one line, the opposite to the mountain. Or the same as the one that in the photograph, if that makes sense. So now I'm just adding a bit of foam to the back of that quote as well. And I'm adding another couple of stickers here. I've got that one there, I wanted to use that as my title, so I actually added it over the top of another sticker because I felt like it helped it stand out a little more. So it's just that journey sticker there, and then I add another little mountain sticker to the other side. The um, stickers in the artwork are the artwork of Joe, who is um, the owner of Little Rainbow Moon. So now I've got those bits put down. I'm now adding my matte gel medium and adding my flowers on. It dries clear and matte so uh, once they're stuck they don't come off and also you don't see any glue, any shiny residue left over. So this stuff is brilliant for putting down flowers. It does take a while to dry but at the same, uh, on the other hand you do get plenty of time to just adjust the flowers if you're not quite happy with how they're placed. You do have a little bit of time to adjust them and they um, this stuff has better longevity than um, say using a glue gun. So I'm just adding a little glue to these rose buds and then tucking them underneath the other flowers and uh, just choosing carefully what direction I want the little rosebuds to go in to try and draw the eye into the centre of the page. So in the end I went with three clusters instead of two. And now I'm just adding a little more paint, just emphasising that line going through um, up the page and just adding a spot here and there just to tie it in as well. I do go back in I believe with a white gel pen just to highlight the mountains a little more. As you can see I'm just adding a little more colour here and there, just touches here and there just to deepen the lines because this is all obviously it's all dry so I can layer it on top now. Now also in the kit there were some sequins and I do love me some sequins on a layout, uh, way cheaper than enamel tops as well. Um, so I'm adding a few of each colour around the same clusters that I've already created around the flowers. So I'm adding three around each one I believe, yep. Adding three around each one and then one just down by that um, journey uh, title. Now, I love these. These are tiny triangles with um, Joe's artwork on them. And you can just build up a little pattern with them going up or down the page. So I choose to do one at the top with the triangle pointing down. And once I've stuck them down there, I then go to the bottom of the page and do some pointing up to tie it all in together. I had that Imagine um, sticker at the top there as well. I do end up adjusting that towards the end I believe as well just bringing it down slightly and then to balance it as you can see I've added some pointing up at the bottom and then as a final touch I'm adding some I think it might be the rose gold um, 
it's from the metallic set from Little Rainbow Moon. Just splashing it over the top and that will dry with a beautiful shimmery sheen. And unlike with things like Heidi Swap Colour Shine and Mica Powders, you don't get any of that sticky residue. It dries completely. You don't get an oily ring around it. So it's really good. I highly recommend them. And as I mentioned before, I'm now going in with a white gel pen just to add a little touch of highlight to the mountain area or sort of mountains <laughs> if you can call them that and I also wanted to add a little more stark white because the stickers have stark white in them the photograph has quite a bright white in it whereas the actual layout doesn't so to kind of draw it all together I'm adding some gesso and water so it's nicely brought down on a fan brush and just splashing it here and there onto my layout I uh, just test out how how fluid it is on the tissue over the top of the photograph just so I know how it's going to behave before I put it actually directly on my layout and I think I am pretty much done now so thanks for joining me today if you've enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed then I'd really appreciate if you did subscribe. If you've enjoyed this video then please give it a, a thumbs up as I know that if, if I know what videos you like then I know which ones to make more of as well. And um, I will of course link uh, my flowers, Manx Cat Bloom flowers as well as the Little Rainbow Moon shop and this kit if there's any left in the links below. So have a great day everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!